but uh, I now think he's probably, I think he's changed, I don't know who he's with, I'm afraid, I do apologise, possibly uh, his old mucker, and his name will come to me in a moment, so Hamed then in the green shorts or turquoise shorts, south poor, in fact he can do it either way round, he's not bothered, a bit of a Hamed shuffle there, both men, former schoolboy champions, and Hamed, of course, won a whole string of amateur titles before turning professional. And does remain, as I say, a very serious hope for Britain to go on to take championships at all kinds of weights and different levels. And he's a hell of a puncher, believe me. I've been sparring with him. And I'm a lot bigger, and he hurt my chest. I've been terrible. Thankfully, he didn't hit me on the head. And uh, Chrissy Clarkson boxed for the IBF Intercontinental Bantamweight Championship, beaten in four rounds by Francisco Arroyo a couple of years ago. But mixed in good company. Fought uh, Duke McKenzie. Beaten in five. Beaten by the former British and European champion Billy Hardy in five as well. And the last time we saw him in action was beaten by Bradley Stone on points over eight. Hamed's such an intimidating man to fight. I've known him for about eight years now. I'm glad to say. Comes, uh, his family in fact come from the Yemen. Or oh, it used to be Aden in my day. If that makes it any clearer to you. It's that peninsula by, uh, on the eastern side of the Persian Gulf. And to date, Nassim Hamed, the only man to have stopped Andrew Bloomer. Did it in two. And also beat Alan Lay into another Welshman, and uh, he was unbeaten, in fact, going into the Hamed fight. A very good performance there by Nassim. Last time out, he beat a very gritty little, another little Welshman. They're all gritty, aren't they? Kevin Jenkins in five. Or was it? No, it's in three. I do apologise. Memory was fading me then. And the crowd, very impressed so far with what they've seen of Hamed. Of course, one of the reasons that he's on this bill is a uh, possible future opponent for the man who tops the bill this evening, Wayne McCulloch. Oh, lovely right hook, and down goes Chrissy Clarkson. Good shot. That was fast and accurate. I've got eight. Well, he's a gritty campaigner, Chris Clarkson, but uh, can he take the power of Hamed? That's the problem. And the variety of punch as well, and uh, the bell ends the first round, Hamed. Well, doing a bit of a Chris Eubank, but let me tell you something about Chris Eubank. That top of the rope leap was in fact learned from this young fella up in that Sheffield gym. Eubank never did it until he actually went up there and trained in Brennan Ingalls' gym, and there's the replay of the knockdown, and he saw little Hamed jumping over the top rope, and that was just for sparring, and Chris adopted it for his professional routine. Round two, then, of a scheduled eight banterweight contest, Nassim Hamed dropped, Clarkson with the right hook just at the end of the first. And Chris Clarkson's problem, of course, is if he leads off, he knows he's going to get caught, so if he doesn't, he's going to get caught anyway. So how on earth do you fight this man? And it sounds rather strange. He looks very good, doesn't he? But he's a lot better than he looks as well, which is rather odd, isn't it? And the chance I was only 19 now. When he gets up to 21, the chance I'll probably be a super featherweight or even a lightweight. Still growing, of course. Getting a bit chunkier these days as well. Very confident. As I say, he can box either left or right hand forward. He's got power in both punches too. As I'm sure Chris Clarkson would testify. Yes, I think Chris Clarkson, possibly these days with Steve Pollard, another ex-pro from uh, Hull, or in fact a current pro from Hull. Yeah, good right hand there from Hamed. I'm very glad to say he uh, came with boxing exhibition on my show with uh, Gary Derue, the former British featherweight champion. 
grateful for that to halfway through the second and there's now blood coming from classes so there's a good body shot there that was perfectly measured and painful didn't look uh, it looked innocuous but uh, look at the effect he's had on chris clarkson he's not going to beat the count he's staying down there quite sensibly and they're very very painful well i hope we see that one again and there's the forward somersault from hamed that was a beautiful shot a left hand right in the solar plexus and the crowd really appreciating this young fella they've read about him they've seen him on television now they've seen him in the flesh but not for long well i just wonder whether matt tinley would be prepared to risk wayne mcculloch and there's the body shot what a superb finish there from nasim hamed he goes from strength to strength and one and minute there, spread and 50 around seconds and from round Chrissy two. Clarkson's face and that uh, beautiful out, short winner, left Hamid. uppercut to the body so Nassim Hamed then declared the second round winner and what an act of that what can you say he did it as an amateur as well they didn't like it more the